to Betty's closet. Um, so I let's do Hermes news. The iconic Hermes. So this is an article from the New York Post. It says, gone in 43 seconds, the heist. The video showing um, Thebes with trash cans swiping 1.8 million in Hermes bags. Yeah? <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm gonna do this out. Oh, there's no sound. Let's see. Just throw <laughs> the kind of trash. Oh, right, no. Uh, the trash card. That is mad people, don't you think? It's just like, like, like it's like that um, a film, like like that TV show in the UK called Supermarket Sweep, and you get you just get your your supermarket trolley and you just dash things into the trolley to try and get to the end. Oh my god, it didn't take them a few seconds. So it says new release video footage captured the moment um, fast moving pair of thieves burst into a store in Miami um, Beach Hotel and got away with $1.8 million in Hermes bag in a matter of seconds. The two men broke into the, the Mad is it Manson um, wrist. Oh no, I don't know if I said that. Store in uh, um, in Sita C- Hotel in South um, Florida City um, at 2.45 a.m. in the morning. So the men had hoodies and masks over their face and they not prices bags off the dis- display shelves into um, rolling garbage cans and they carried the following footage shown. <laughs> like, bloody hell, did you all spend only 43 seconds inside the store and managed to make off with at least 60 Birkin bags? Only 43 seconds! Um, Hermes highly covered signature design that retails for well into the five figures. Birkin reels from ten thousand dollars up to forty five four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Bloody hell, only forty three seconds. That is amazing now. All told the pair got away with one point eight one point eight in fine level goods, cops said. Our fires were alerted to the robbery. Around 3 a.m. in the morning, the police officers found the door in the BK and po- propped open with the lock pushed out. This is Al um, Garcia, the guy that robbed the place. He was arrested several hours later when the police tracked him down via license plate number of the original Hyundai Santa Fe. He drove away from the scene. Oh my god, he just. Oh. Oh, what ways did the distinctive vehicle was linked to a jewelry heist in Hillsborough County? Oh, so it's not his first rodeo. It's not his first rodeo. This guy's a, you know, maybe his career criminal. Um, Garcia was charged with mass burglary of an unoccupied structure. First, first degree grand theft. An unlawful use of communication device, according to the Miami uh, Daddy Corrections records. So these are the Birkins, you know. And I'm I'm gonna be funny. I don't know what's the because I don't really like the Birkin design. I've got to be honest with you, but I I hear that they hand stitch things. So I can appreciate if you're hand stitching things, why things cost a lot, and then you got to pay for the stores, the rental. You got to pay for. Wait, staff wages, electric, tax, import tax. That means you can see how the prices go up and then you've got to make a profit. You know, workmanship in the West is very expensive. Yeah, you know, they're made in France. And obviously France is one of the most developed countries in the world. You know, I don't know where it is in the in the economic, um, I don't know what, what, where it is in the economic list of countries, but I know it's a high-end country, let's be honest. 
It says, on Tuesday afternoon, the police have not released further information about the second suspect who fled in a truck carrying the garbage cans full of bags. I'm just like... It, it, it's a funny story, B-Boy. It's a funny story. Um, and obviously, there's new stories. Like, like, like Hermes are getting sued by the, the rich um, because they've got a policy that, you know, you can't purchase their bags without purchasing other things. So I'm going to do a video on that. But tell me what you think. Let me see. Let's have a look at these little Hermes bags. Let me just one moment. Let's just have an actual look at these bags. We'll get some information on the Hermes bags. I'm just not a fan of the Hermes. No, these are the Hermes bags. Sometimes they make them out of crocodile skin as well. I don't know if anyone's seen that. They've made that of actual crocodile skin leather. Which is just ridiculous, isn't it? Crocodile skin. Um, you know, it's not something that I would... You know, there's bags I would love. That's not something I would go for. Oh, these are knockoffs. I think these might be knockoff ones. Um... Let me see if we can get some information on Hermes and why Hermes bags are so... This is why are Hermes bags so expensive? Um, the most important factor can be explained by the scarcity principle. The economics of supply and demand have driven up the Birkin prices for the last 20 years. In some cases, the Birkins can sell for multiples of the original uh, retail price. Yeah, so this is Sorbis in London. Yeah, the scarce because they only make a limited amount of bags, yeah. And what they do is they stop you from if you don't buy lots of other things from Hermes, um they think if you buy lots of things from Hermes then you're more likely to not sell the bag on and try and make a profit. Um what else does it say? So it's a leather Birkin bag supply, supplied directly from the store starts at $9,000 and sells for, or can sell for $30,000 depending on the size, colour, material and condition. Yeah. I think that's a crocodile skin one. The Himalaya crocodile crocodile Birkin. Oh good And uh I'm gonna leave this. Tell me what you think. Um and then I'm gonna go and do a video on the Birkins, you know, people actually suing um Hermes for not selling them a bag. 